Hey guys, Simon here. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to start a social media marketing agency in college, even in the midst of your university studies from someone who actually went through it. So really excited for this video and let's get right into it. Now, first things first, I thought it would be appropriate to give you a bit of my uh, backstory and tell you guys how I started my social media marketing agency while still in college. And so under a year ago at this point, at uh, the time of recording this, I was going to a university in London and I was studying engineering and I was trying to balance my engineering course with my social media marketing agency and really get it to work because I just honestly dreaded my time at university. I wanted SMA to provide me with the cash that would allow me to you know, have this proof of concept for my parents as well uh, and let them, you know, ha have them uh, allow me to drop out of university and really have the peace of mind to drop out of university knowing that this stuff actually worked for me uh, and, and knowing that I had a good cushion, uh, in, in, you know, financially as well as actually build incredible long-term skills and transferable skills uh, that social media gives you so that I knew that this, this isn't just a, a one-trick pony, right? This is not just something that's going to make me a really good money for a year and then I'm going to be on the street and not knowing what to do next, right? I wanted a business model that not only generated me incredible cash right and was incredibly profitable and also a business model that gave me really good transferable skills that I could then take to build other businesses later down the line if social media marketing agency for whatever reason uh, wasn't my passion in you know three years or four years okay so that was really my position a bit a bit stressful definitely because look I'm not going to sell the idea that starting a business while you're still going to your nine to five or or you're still in college is the ideal scenario obviously it's not but I don't want you guys to use that as an excuse the first thing that I want you guys to keep in mind is that the first client is always going to be the hardest client and that's always going to be the case unless you actually tap into your personal network I actually made a whole new video uh, on that method and uh, you guys can watch it after this video uh, but basically if you tap into your personal network to get that first client under your belt then obviously it's going to be much easier but let's just say that you go to a cold audience you don't want to tap into your personal network uh, and so the first line is always going to be the hardest client now, my question to you is, do you have two to three hours a day to put into outreach and sales? Because the great thing about social media marketing agency is that you don't have all these aspects that you need to work on or that you need to get very good at, right? For example, if you start a dropshipping e-commerce business, you have to get the actual finding the product, maybe the product development, the, you need to master ads, um, you know, influencer marketing, all, all this stuff that you need to look over. Whereas for SMMA, you're so focused at, especially at the start, should go into sales and outreach. And so if you have two to three hours a day, even an hour to two hours a day to put into outreach, you're gonna get results because in two to three hours, you can probably reach out to 100 businesses a day. And if you're doing that for a month and you're looking at the results, what's coming back, iterating according to feedback, tweaking your email copies and seeing, and, and really just optimizing your email copies, cutting out what doesn't work and finding what works, you're gonna get results. You are gonna land that first client. So that's really the first stepping stone, the first client. Now, when you have your first client, what I recommend you do then, and keep in mind that you are a busy person who is doing a bunch of things, right? You're going to college, you're trying to get good grades or whatever, or pass your college degree, and you also wanna start social media marketing agency on the side. What I recommend you do then is take the money that that client is paying you, right? And then put that into automating your email outreach. Okay, you put that into automating your email outreach as well as your lead sourcing. What I recommend for lead sourcing is snuff.io and you guys have a link in the description. It's the lead sourcing software I recommend for e-commerce businesses and if you sign up with the link below, you can claim a free trial. But by reinvesting into automation softwares, especially for your email outreach and reaching out to a wide pool of qualified prospects and waiting for them to qualify themselves to you and show interest in you to then really go hard on outreach, for example, with a, a Loom video, you are gonna see exponential results with your agency. Now, if you start your social media marketing agency and you have decent resources, maybe 70 bucks or even 50 bucks a month that you wanna invest into your SMA, then I would definitely recommend you go for that first. Because sure, you can go through step one, you know, grinding it out for two to three hours a day, but you can also have this automation take care of you if you already have the resources to invest in it. But the reason why I think automation for lead sourcing and outreach is absolutely great for your situation if you're in college or university. The reason why I think it's actually vital is because while you're in class, you can still reach out to business owners, which is one of the problems that I faced when I was going to university, right? Most of my time would be spent uh, in uni during the day. And so when I actually got home, then I would be reaching out to business owners outside of the business hours. Not a huge problem, right? Because you can also schedule emails and you can, there's a few ways you can get around that, but it's nothing like reaching out to business owners completely automated while you're still in class and coming back home to seeing replies from those business owners and seeing warm leads in your inbox. So that is the second thing that I recommend you guys do. The third thing is service delivery. Now, you should not be spending more than four to five hours a week 
on service delivery, especially if you're just starting out and you only have one, maybe two clients under your belt. You should have a team member, an expert take care of that for you. Someone who's been in the trenches day in and day out for a number of years now, someone who understands your niche and someone who can get the job done while you're at university and still get a result for your clients. So guys, those are really the three things you need to understand and have in place if you're looking to start your social media marketing needs in the midst of your university study. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. It really helps out a ton with the algorithm and I really appreciate it. Also, leave down below any questions, any comments you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out with a specific focus on sales, outreach, and e-commerce. If you don't wanna miss that, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And lastly, if you haven't checked out my free masterclass, how to sign and keep four-figure retainer clients for your agency, go ahead and check it out. There's nothing for sale and the feedback that I've been getting on it is incredible. People are literally signing clients with the stuff I covered on the masterclass. And so if you wanna check it out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And as always guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey and I'll speak to you in the next one, peace.